Hey guys, this is Fred with USA Measurements in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick unboxing of our USIC counting scale, and I'm gonna also show you how to use it and give you a couple demonstrations. So let's get started. Okay, once you receive your shipment, it will come box and package as shown here in the picture. Out of the box, the scale will be factory calibrated and ready for use. Now everything that's included with this is your manual, the scale, the stainless steel top, and your power adapter. The scale also operates off of a rechargeable battery and you can use either option. Once you take it out of the plastic wrap, you'll see between the top platform, there is a pink styrofoam that we use there for protecting the top of the stainless steel plate. And all you need to do is remove that and then set the stainless steel platter on top. After that, you can turn it on and you're ready to start counting parts. So a couple things about our counting scale. It comes available in four different sizes and we'll put the different sizes up here in the corner for you. It's going to be 12 pounds by 0.2 grams, 33 pounds by 0.2 grams, 66 pounds by a half of a gram, and 100 pounds by one gram. In order to choose the right counting scale for you, it depends on what the weight of your different parts are. So if you have very small parts, you're gonna to wanna to go with a more accurate scale so that, you, so that the accuracy of the scale can weigh those small parts. For instance, if you have a 100 pound scale and the accuracy is down to one gram, but your pieces weigh 0.2 grams, this scale is not gonna work for you and you're gonna to wanna to go with something like the 33 pound that has an accuracy at 0.2 grams. Now, some of the other features is that this is a stainless steel pan. It's 11 inches by eight inches. It has three windows. It has an LCD backlight and also a rechargeable battery. There's four adjustable feet for uneven surfaces and there's a leveling bubble here. The scale will come factory calibrated and it will be plug and play ready for use. This scale will weigh in kilograms, pounds, ounces, and also count pieces. You can use it for accumulation and even check weighing parts. So with this option, it gives you a variety of different ways that this scale can be used in your business. Okay, so here's how you would use your counting scale. First, you normally have a container that you're going to use to put your parts in. So once we put the container on, we're gonna to wanna to tear it out. And then next we wanna use a sample. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use five pills in order for our sample piece. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're going to hit the number of samples, which is five, and then we will hit the sample button. Now the machine has calculated what is the individual piece. This is the weight of what's currently in here, and this is telling us there's five pieces. So now we can add as many pills as we need and this is going to count and let us know. And as you can see here, there's a quantity of 90, which is, it's counted here. And so we can take one out, and we can put one back in. We can take three out and then add them back in and it will count your parts accurately to keep track of inventory, to avoid mistakes and make sure that you're as accurate as possible when you're counting out your pieces. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how you can use our counting scale to also uh, count different batches and use our accumulation function to keep track of how many different batches you've done and then what is the gross weight of those and how many total pieces have you counted. So first we'll take our container and we're going to zero out the weight. Then we're gonna take a sample size of 10 pieces. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So. Now we have our sample size of 10 pieces. We're going to add in our different pieces. Now that we know that we've counted 90, this batch is done. So what we'll go ahead and do is hit the MC plus and it's going to show the number one here. Okay, now if we wanna go ahead and view what we have just done, we press the MC button and this is going to take us to show us the gross weight and the number of pieces that we've counted. We can hit the return button to go back to this uh, normal weighing mode. So let's say that we're gonna do this process over again. We're going to put our container back on and then we're going to put, let's say five pieces this time. 
okay? So this would be our next batch. And now we're gonna hit the M plus again, and this is gonna show the number two here. Now, if we go to our MC screen, this will show us, okay, we've added 95 total pieces now, and here is our new gross weight. So we can hit the return button, go back to our normal weighing mode, and then let's say we're gonna do another batch. Put the container back on. This time it's going to be one piece. We're going to hit the M plus button again and we'll show the number three here. Okay, so now we'll hit MC to view this screen. We've counted a total of 96 pieces and here's our new gross weight. So using this accumulation function can make your job much easier and take the math and the error out of it by using the accumulation function to weigh different batches. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can manually enter in your known weights. So for instance, if this pill weighs 0 0.0012, if we convert that to grams, it's 1.2 grams. So let's say we wanna enter that in manually to count pieces. Well, we would go 1.2, and then we would hit the UWS. Now, when we put the one piece down, we've already manually entered that weight and it will count the pieces for us. And that's how you can manually enter in your own known weights. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can change the units from kilograms, pounds, ounces, and grams. First, hold the sample key and press the on off button. Now that it's showing this, we're gonna press in the code 1132 and then we'll hit the sample button. From here, we'll press the one key to toggle. This is kilograms, pounds, ounces, and grams. If you'd like to select grams, you hit the sample key, and then you hit the return button. And now you can see here it is now set up in grams. So one more time, if we wanted to change this to pounds, we'll hold the sample key, press the on off key. We'll put in the code 1132, hit sample, and then we'll press the one button to toggle kilograms, pounds, we'll hit sample to select, and then we'll hit the return key. And after that, you can see now that it's been set up in pounds and that's how you change the units. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you do have any questions that we can help you with, please give us a call at 800-711-2237 or you're welcome to email us sales at usamesurements.com. Thank you for watching.